Welcome to StoryFlix. In this video, we will explain the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society. This movie tells the story of a writer who forms an unexpected bond with the residents of Guernsey Island when she decides to write a book about their experiences during the war. When she meets a young man, she never imagined a love story that grows and binds the two. Will these two find love in their love of reading? Let's find out in the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society. The Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society is set in 1941 in the Guernsey Islands in England, where at the time, Guernsey was under German military rule. One night, four friends were passing through the wilderness. But later, they were stopped by the German soldiers for violating the curfew during the German occupation. To avoid capture, one of them told the German soldiers that they had just returned from their book club meeting called the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society. At first the soldiers did not believe what the four comrades said and were about to arrest them. But after they explained the truth and showed some evidence, the German soldiers finally allowed the four friends to go home and return to their respective homes. Five years later, in January 1946, a writer named Juliet Ashton was promoting her latest book, written under her pen name, Izzy Bickerstaff. Juliet has just been contracted through her publisher and also her best friend, Sidney Stark, to write a story for the Times Literary Supplement about the benefits of literature. After the promotional event, Juliet was then invited by Sidney to go to the new apartment he had prepared for Juliet. Even though the new apartment was much nicer and more luxurious than the apartment she was in now, for some reason Juliet was reminded of the painful memories of the war that took the lives of her parents. Juliet decides to stay in her old apartment and thanks Sydney for being so considerate of her. One night, after returning from a date with her boyfriend, Juliet receives a letter from Dossie Adams, a man who lives in the Guernsey Islands. Adams turned out to be a fan of Juliet's works and had a copy of her essays of Elia Charles Lamb and wanted to know where he could find a bookstore in England to buy another book by the same author. Adams also told Juliet that he was part of the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society, a book club that met every Friday night and was originally created to trick German soldiers. Currently, the German army has left the Guernsey Islands, but the book club is still there because reading books has become a habit for them, and Adams intends to add to his collection of books for reading material. After reading Adam's letter, Juliet seemed happy because she got information about a book club with a unique name and decided to reply to the letter. Not only that, she sent another book by Charles Lamb and his sister, Mary Lamb, entitled Tales from Shakespeare. In her letter, Juliet asked Adams to tell her more about the book club the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society, how the book club came into existence, and also its unique name choice. As shown at the film's beginning, the name the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society just came up by accident. Adams and his friends initially had small gatherings by exchanging food and talking to each other. But, over time, they often spent time together by reading many books by famous writers and discussing them together. Since then, the book club the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society was formed, where Adams and others are increasingly passionate about reading many books, even with poor lighting and limited reading materials, so that they can see the world from different perspectives and have a different view. Juliet was moved after reading Adams' reply, which told about the book lover's community in the Guernsey Islands. She wrote Adams a letter saying that she intends to visit the Guernsey Islands and meet the book lover's community. The next day, Juliet goes to Sydney and tells him that she is going away for a week to meet the book-loving community in the Guernsey Islands. Initially Sydney had forbidden Juliet's departure because Juliet was still under contract with the Times Literary Supplement. Still, Juliet managed to convince him because she was going to visit there and intended to write an article about the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society and community life in the Guernsey Islands. Surprisingly, on the day of her departure, Juliet's boyfriend, Mark, proposed to Juliet in front of everyone before she boarded the ferry. Juliet accepts Mark's proposal and the two plan to get married after Juliet returns from the Guernsey Islands. Arriving in the Guernsey Islands, Juliet rushed to find lodging and ran into Adams. She asked him about the inn. But since the two of them didn't know each other yet, Adams casually told Juliet to go to the post office and ask about the vacant inn there. While at the post office, Juliet meets a member of the book lover community named Eben Ramsey and his grandson, Eli. 
after learning that Juliet is a famous writer who specially came to visit the Guernsey Islands to meet his community, Eben treats Juliet like a guest of honor and asks Eli to take her to an inn. Arriving at the inn, Juliet was immediately ushered into her rented room by the innkeeper's woman who seemed interested in the diamond ring that Mark gave her which was beautifully wrapped around her ring finger. Feeling uncomfortable, Juliet then took off the ring and kept it. That night, right on Friday night, Juliet enthusiastically visited the house of a woman named Amelia Maugery, which was used as a gathering place for members of the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society every Friday night. She then met with other community members, namely a woman named Isola Privy. Juliet was told that one of the founding members, a woman named Elizabeth, who is also Amelia's daughter, was not there because she was abroad. However, Elizabeth's little daughter, Kit, appeared to be there. When everyone was getting ready to start the meeting, Adams came and was surprised to see Juliet there. After getting to know each other and chatting, Adams and the others then asked Juliet to read a book by Anne Bront. After Juliet read the book, they began to discuss many famous literary works such as Jane Eyre, Wuthering Heights, Anna Karenina, etc. Each of them then presented various opinions and arguments regarding the literary work so that the meeting became more lively and enjoyable. After reading and discussing the book, Juliet was then served potato peel pie, a dish that became the hallmark of the community. Juliet seems very happy to be in the midst of a community of book lovers who are so enthusiastic about discussing various literary works and welcoming them with open arms. However, Juliet's happiness and the family atmosphere immediately change when she says that she intends to write an article about the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society and plans to have it published in the Times Literary Supplement. Immediately everyone fell silent. Even Amelia reacted negatively to the idea and assumed that Juliet's visit to their community was only for her personal interests. Feeling guilty, Juliet returns to the inn with Adams and Elizabeth's daughter, Kit, who is now being raised by Adams after Elizabeth's departure abroad. Juliet apologized to Adams for her slightly arrogant behavior. But Adams didn't mind this and said that Amelia did have a closed nature and couldn't trust other people she had just met. Before Juliet entered the inn, Adams gave her a flower as a gift because Juliet had given him the book he had always wanted. The next day, Juliet calls Sidney and tells him about the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society, where she is very happy to meet them and be in their midst. However, when Juliet came up with the idea of writing an article about the community, they turned it down, so Juliet had to find another way to convince them. Juliet also told Sidney that her boyfriend had proposed to her and plans to get married soon. Juliet then meets with Eli who says that Elizabeth had been captured by German soldiers several years ago when the Guernsey Islands were still under German military rule. However, everyone believed that Elizabeth was fine and would definitely return soon to be with them. In the afternoon, Juliet and Adams are seen walking on the beach where Adams tells about the cruelty of the German soldiers during the war. Juliet asked Adams about Elizabeth's arrest in between conversations, but he didn't say much. Juliet goes to Privy and asks her about Elizabeth's arrest. Privy tells that Elizabeth's sister became the victim of atrocities by the German army during the war. Elizabeth, furious, then cursed at the passing convoy of German soldiers, causing such a commotion that the woman was captured by the Germans. Privy said that the reason Amelia rejected Juliet's idea to write an article about the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society was because she had lost her two daughters, and if Juliet wrote a story about it, it could bring back painful memories that she has been trying to bury. Knowing this, Juliet then went to Amelia and told the old woman that she would not write an article about the book lover community. Instead of returning home as planned, Juliet chooses to stay in the Guernsey Islands to do her research and help Amelia get back together with Elizabeth. After that, Juliet enlists the help of Mark, who is in the armed forces, to try to find Elizabeth who was captured by the German soldiers. Juliet also asks Sydney to give her more time to stay in the Guernsey Islands, so Sydney was forced to cancel several scheduled events. While there, Juliet returned to writing, but this time she didn't write articles about the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society as she had previously planned. Juliet decided to write an article about the lives of people in the Guernsey Islands who are still traumatized by the war. That evening, Mrs. Stimple, the innkeeper, tells Juliet that Elizabeth is not a saint and hints that she has had sex with German soldiers in exchange for luxury. Juliet then goes to Privy, tells about the innkeeper's gossip about Elizabeth, and asks about Kit's real father. Because Privy refused to comment, Juliet asked Adams about it. Adams explains that he is not actually Kit's real father. 
Kit's biological father is Christian Hellman, a German doctor who had worked with Elizabeth at the local hospital and was also his friend. Juliet gets a more detailed explanation of Elizabeth and Hellman's relationship from Amelia who says that Elizabeth plans to live with Hellman and their baby in Elizabeth's womb. But later, Hellman was sent back to Germany and died when his ship sank. The real reason why Amelia was so opposed to Juliet writing an article about Elizabeth was that she didn't want the Germans to find out the truth about Kit and take the little girl away. That evening, when Juliet returned to the inn, she caught Mrs. Stimple was in her room holding her things. Suddenly, Juliet felt very angry at the woman for encroaching on her privacy. Juliet immediately packed her things and left the inn. For a while, she stayed at Privy's house. One day, Adams asks Juliet to drive Kit home because he still has work. After dropping Kit off to sleep in her room, Juliet sneaks into Adams' room, where she finds Adams' collection of books. When she was in Adams' room, suddenly Adams appeared, and they both looked awkward. The seeds of love seemed to have grown in the hearts of Adams and Juliet. However, Juliet who realized that she was engaged, tried to get rid of these feelings. Juliet then asks Adams why Kit lives with him instead of her grandmother. Adams tells that before Elizabeth was captured by the German soldiers, she entrusted Kit to him, so he continues to care for Kit until now. Adams has also considered Kit as his own daughter and loves her very much. Mark suddenly came and intended to pick up Juliet home in the middle of their conversation. Mark criticizes Juliet for not wearing her engagement ring, but Juliet reasons that she doesn't want to flaunt luxury in the countryside. On the other hand, Adams looked jealous to see Juliet with her boyfriend, but he couldn't do anything about it either. Mark's arrival at the Guernsey Islands brings information about Elizabeth. Juliet then tells Amelia and the others the news that Elizabeth has been sent to the Ravensbrück concentration camp. There, Elizabeth is shot and killed while protecting her fellow prisoners. After hearing the news of Elizabeth's death, everyone fell silent and looked very sad, especially Amelia, who had lost hope because her daughters had gone forever. That same day, Juliet and Mark then planned to return to London. Juliet then said goodbye to Amelia and the others, where Adams looked sad because he had to let his love go with his dreams. After returning to London, Juliet feels that her life is empty and spends her days contemplating and locking herself in her room because deep down, she feels that there is still something left in the Guernsey Islands. One night, Juliet meets Mark and decides to call off their engagement and return the diamond ring Mark had given her. After breaking up with Mark, she started writing again, and this time she wrote about the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society. However, the manuscript will not be published, and Juliet's name as the author is also not included. When the manuscript was finished, Juliet gave a copy to Sydney and sent another copy to the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society. Adams read the cover letter aloud to the community members and realized that Juliet had broken up with Mark. Adams decided to go see Juliet and immediately left for London. At the same time, Juliet arranges a plan to return to the Guernsey Islands. Juliet was just about to get on the ferry when she saw Adams at the dock and the two of them reunited. Adams was about to ask Juliet to marry him when she interrupted to ask the same thing. Sometime later, Adams is seen reading tales from Shakespeare to Kit with Juliet at her side, with both Adams and Juliet wearing wedding rings. As the credits roll, the society holds other off-screen meetings, including Sydney's, exchanging quotes from the book and discussions, and the film ends. Through this film, we are shown a touching story about love, friendship, and kinship that is formed through the love of reading books. Therefore, be diligent in reading books and meet various book lovers. By reading, we will gain extensive knowledge about many things, but it can also lead us to meet extraordinary people. Through them, we can see everything broadly colorfully. We can also meet many people who have the same interests and types of reading, so that we too can be friends with them, maybe even match one with one of them.